So I made a little quickie video for the way to normal modifier and how to apply it with the bevel modifier. Mainly for those people who have been looking at the bevel modifier and going, yeah, I need to get into this. I just, I'm not exactly sure how. So that was kind of like a small reminder for them. Um, this video is to kind of explain why I'm choosing the settings I'm choosing and why I'm not choosing certain other ones that I'm seeing on YouTube videos a lot or things that are overlooked. So very briefly, what the weighted normal modifier is doing is if we, I'm just going to copy this over, move it there. If we just apply this bevel, um, we can see that the weight to normal modifier is doing this. So if I turn this off, these uh, pink lines are representations of the vertex normal uh, direction. So what we need is if this is a hard surface like this, we need them to point exactly up because that's where the reflection would be. It would be the direction of the face, right? But Without this, it's just averaging it, um, and it gives a very rounded, meh result. You know, this it's quite ugly. So that's the benefit of the weight to normal modifier. It straightens those up, and it gives all the weight to the faces we actually care about. So it makes it look really smooth, even though we have very low geometry. That is a super great benefit of this uh, tool. So. Let's put that back. Now, um, the basics on like how this works is um, if I hit affected over here, this is my bevel modifier. I have a bevel modifier and then a weighted normal modifier. My weighted normal modifier has got face influence checked. But if I if I hit face strength mode affected, I'm just going to duplicate this over again just in case and I apply this bevel with this face strength mode set to affected on. I'm going to apply it. And now what's what that's done is if I press alt N, it bring up, this brings up the normals menu. Um, yeah, the normals tools menu. And we can select faces by a strength value. And the bevel modifier applied a strength value to our faces. Um, if I click medium, we can see that all the bevels got a medium weight applied. If I press weak, we can see that the corners of the bevels got a weak influence. If I press strong, we can see that the strong influence got set to everything but the bevels, essentially, to the original geometry where we wanted our edges to be, or our surfaces, sorry. And we can do all this manually too. If we select a bunch of faces and we do Alt N, set face strength, we could do weak and that really messes things up. We can try doing medium and uh, it's a little okay. There's some pinching going on there. Or we can set strong and it's gonna give all that value to this. And we can see the, the uh, these normal direction um, overlays sticks I don't know we can see them changing and you can also see it around here too so I'll just look right here and I'll set those so set face strength to weak those moved over there so it's given a nice weak value just straight averaging out then you know medium is kind of gonna be in between but it's still not straight we can see here uh, maybe it's hard to see which one is it okay so it is right here and then if we do strong it's going to point it directly up the way it's facing so we can do this all manually or we can let the bevel modifier handle that itself which is incredibly efficient i'm so glad that they thought to do this it really makes normal cleanup normal editing um, a lot more bearable so we have we have all these face strength modes, but affected I find is the most effective because of what, you know, I just barely showed in how it applies the face, uh, the, the face strength to each of the faces and how it listens to, okay, just, we only want our bevels to have, you know, a nice weak influence or medium influence and everything that was originally there, a strong influence. 
Now, the reason I use this instead of the weight field here, if I turn face influence off now, it's not going to pay attention to the, the strength values that are applied to the faces. And we saw that with the other one. So it's not listening to that anymore. Now it's just applying its own little al algorithms. And it's essentially looking at each, at the area of each face and going, okay, with all of these faces, which has the bigger area and whichever has the bigger area is going to have the stronger weight. Um, this is generally good. If we crank this weight then to 100, we, it does an okay job around here. Like these things look flat. But sometimes, and this is why I, I mean, I have a particular shape because of this. Um, we can see the bevel here is, you know, we have a bevel. Oh, no, this is a surface. See, I can't even tell. Surface, bevel, surface, bevel. And our bevels are bigger than our surface. So it's getting confused and doesn't really know where to properly apply the weight. Um, so... You know, I could I could try and change this, um, and try and get it just right. Corner angle obviously doesn't work. These I haven't had a whole ton of success with, um, but they have their own. You know, they have their own situations where they work best. But face area generally is, you know, the one that works the best. So this is where I don't like using this face area and the weight value. And I see this on tutorials and stuff all the time. And it's like people have no idea that this face strength mode thing exists. And that's what this applies to. There's a document that talks about this. Bef when 2.8 was still in beta, there was one document that explained how all this worked. Um, and... I think you can find it if you just search in like way to no modifier documentation uh, blender 2.8 um but anyway so i don't like using the weight value for that reason face influence overrides this completely and we get nice smooth results so this is a surface and it's flat this is a bevel and it's rounded so it's exactly what we need. Anyway, that's just a little bit why I choose those settings. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I tried just to be as concise as possible. A problem I do find with the weighted all modifier sometimes is curves. I mean, any curved surfaces, generally you don't want to use the weighted all modifier for for organic objects, for curvy objects, um, unless you are controlling it with a vertex group right here you can assign a vertex group you know um but i i find that you know bevels like this it gets a weird rigid result where if i turn it off well i guess i still get it um sometimes you can you know if if it doesn't matter you can fix this with these segments i'm still not exactly sure why um this uh this has this weird triangulation effect because you'd think that because these faces here are you know they're not like pulled in any weird direction that they would kind of be even but that's not the case so yeah i don't know i find that's a problem sometimes so more geometry can fix that um but anyway yeah so those are some of the settings and why I choose them, how it works, etc. Just a little brief overview of, um, you know, the benefit of those tools. Anyway, hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Bye.